Russia's Ilyushin Il-96 occupies a unique place in the evolving commercial aviation landscape. Over the course of three decades, the aircraft has undergone many evolutions and proposals since it was originally designed as a modern widebody in the late Soviet period. The L-96's story includes presidential and cargo derivatives, ambitious initiatives such as the L-96M and IL-96T, and a westernized demonstrator known as the L-96MO. The most compelling yet unrealized concept among these is the re-engineering of the IL-96 into a twin-engine aircraft, often referred to as the IL-98 or IL-96MD. The 1990s saw the cancellation of this idea because Russia lacked engines in the 27 to 35 ton thrust class. Western finance also collapsed in the difficult years following the Soviet Union's breakup. Today, the landscape has shifted with the emergence of the PD-35 high-thrust turbofan. This makes the two-engine IL-96 concept relevant again, and unlike in the 1990s, it now has a real chance of moving forward. The IL-96 was originally a four-engine widebody derived from the L-86. Its first flight took place in 1988, and Aeroflot introduced it in the early 1990s. The L-96-300 could carry around 262 passengers over distances of up to 11,000 kilometers. It used four Aviad Vigital PS-90A engines, each producing about 16 tons of thrust. To boost export potential, Ilyushin and Western partners created the Il-96MO demonstrator. This version replaced the Russian engines with four Pratt & Whitney PW2337 turbofans and added Rockwell Collins avionics. Registered as RA-96000, it first flew in April 1993 and appeared at major international air shows. The Il-96 MO showed Ilyushin's commitment to global cooperation and hinted at ambitions to compete with Boeing and Airbus. Despite being technically sound, the Il-96 MO never went into production. It remained a one-off due to political resistance, lack of funds, and no firm customer base. Still, it provided a foundation for more advanced modernization studies. Alongside it, Ilyushin worked on stretched and cargo models, the Il-96M and Il-96T. The Il-96M was a passenger version able to seat about 300 people, while the Il-96T was the freighter. Both were designed to use Pratt & Whitney engines under joint ventures. In the late 1990s, the U.S. Export-Import Bank withdrew support under political pressure. Although the Il-96 M&T had early interest and even Western certification, the program stalled. Without funding or airline orders, it ended after only a few frames were built. This failure had consequences. It not only killed the westernized variants, but also weakened the prospects for a two-engine design. Without momentum from the Isle 96 m and the twin-engine project had little chance. By the mid-1990s, Ilyushin had studied a two-engine version, often called the Il-98 or Il-96MD. The goal was to rival the Boeing 767 and Airbus A310 with lower operating costs and higher efficiency. The reasoning was clear. Twin-engine aircraft were gaining popularity thanks to ETOPS rules and improved engine reliability. Compared with a four-engine design, a twinjet IL-96 would cut fuel burn, reduce maintenance, and improve seat mile economics. But the PS-90A's 16 tons of thrust were too weak. Ilyushin needed engines in the 27 to 35 ton class. Options included the General Electric GE90, Rolls-Royce Trent 800, and Pratt & Whitney PW4000 series. These were Western designs requiring finance and export approval. Media reports said the twin jet could carry 250 to 350 passengers over 7,000 to 11,000 kilometers, depending on engines. The Il-98 and Il-96MD never left the drawing board. Without a domestic high-thrust engine, and after the Il-96M and T collapse, interest vanished. For the next two decades, the twinjet idea was shelved. 
the breakthrough came with the PD-35 engine. This turbofan offered 33 to 35 tons of thrust, exactly what the L96 twinjet needed. Funded by Rostec and UAC, the PD-35 program advanced in the early 2020s. Test programs began in 2021 and 2022. By 2024, officials confirmed plans to use an IL-96 as a PD-35 flying testbed. By 2024 and 2025, UAC and Rostec openly discussed re-engineering the IL-96 into a PD-35-powered twinjet. Unlike in the 1990s, this version could rely entirely on Russian technology. Meanwhile, the IL-96 400M four-engine upgrade moved toward production. It modernized avionics, strengthened structures, and updated tooling. These investments make a transition to a twin-engine model easier than starting fresh. From an engineering standpoint, the conversion is tough but doable. Two PD-35s would exceed the total thrust of four PS-90As. This ensures payload, range, and thrust-to-weight remain adequate. Structural changes would be needed. The wings, pylons, and landing gear must be reinforced for the heavier engines. Fuel systems would be adjusted for balance. Safety redundancy must be updated to meet twinjet standards. Still, none of this is impossible. Airbus and Boeing have done similar transitions. With modern tools, Russian engineers could redesign the L96 wing and systems to handle the PD-35 safely. The result would be a 300-seat aircraft with intercontinental range, lower costs than the IL-96-300 or 400M, and a fully domestic supply chain. The two-engine IL-96 story links the whole program. In 1993, the IL-96-MO showed modernization through partnerships. In the 1990s, the il 96 m t failed due to reliance on Western funding. For two decades, the IL-96 mainly served as a presidential jet or cargo carrier. Now the PD-35 gives Russia a second chance. A twin-engine IL-96 is both politically appealing and technically possible. It would demonstrate Russia's ability to field a high-thrust turbofan while modernizing its wide-body fleet. In the 1990s, Russia lacked engines, money, and customers for the IL-98 and L-96MD. The IL-96MT collapse overshadowed them, but the PD-35 removed the technical barrier. For the first time, a twin-engine IL-96 could be built without foreign reliance. Challenges remain, such as financing, certification, and finding operators. But the IL-96 family's history shows survival, setbacks, and ambition. The IL-96MO proved modernization was possible. The IL-96M and T highlighted risks of export dependence. The IL-96400M restarted production. And the long-awaited two-engine version is the next logical step. If built, the IL-96 twinjet would symbolize the resilience of the IL-96 line and the progress of Russia's engine industry. Thirty years after its original conception, the IL-98 vision could finally take flight with the PD-35. If you like this video, please like, share, and subscribe. Also, please take our channel membership, which is very affordable, to encourage us.